For a long time, scientists have gathered strong evidence that Mars was once a planet very similar to Earth. It may have had rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans on its surface. But something along the way drastically changed that fate. One of the most decisive factors was the planet's early cooling, which caused the loss of its magnetic field. Without this natural protection, Mars was left exposed to intense solar radiation, which gradually swept away its atmosphere and caused much of the water that once existed there to evaporate into space. This process completely altered its internal and surface dynamics, making its geology quite different from ours. It's as if Mars followed a tragic and silent path marked by events that left permanent scars on its surface. These marks, by the way, are still visible today. In today's video, we'll explore some of these impressive geological formations, photographed from space, that reveal the hidden history of a turbulent past on the Red Planet. Although it's just over half the size of Earth, Mars is often referred to as our little brother. And the comparison makes sense. Its surface functions almost like an open-air museum, where the remnants of intense geological eras can still be observed. Massive valleys, enormous mountains, and colossal volcanoes shape a dramatic landscape, as if the planet had been frozen in a time of extremes. One of the most striking examples is Olympus Mons, considered the largest volcano in the entire solar system. It rises 27 kilometers high, more than three times the height of Mount Everest, measured from base to summit. Even though it's been inactive for millions, maybe billions of years, its grandeur is still awe-inspiring, standing as one of the greatest testaments to the geological power Mars once held in its distant past. But unlike Earth, Mars doesn't have an active tectonic plate system. Here on our planet, plates constantly move, shaping mountains, opening oceans, and triggering earthquakes. On Mars, the story is different. Its lithosphere, the outer layer of the crust, is so thick it can reach up to 200 kilometers, which practically prevents any significant tectonic movement. For comparison, Earth's continental lithosphere is, on average, just 40 kilometers thick. This structural rigidity explains why the planet doesn't display the same dynamic geological patterns we see here. Still, Mars's internal heat and mantle convection movements were enough to create extraordinary structures, like the vast canyon system known as Valles Marineris and Olympus Mons itself. In fact, it's believed that Mars has only two major geological plates, which highlights just how different its internal mechanics are. Despite appearing geologically dormant, Mars still shows signs of activity. Before it ended its mission, the InSight lander recorded tremors on the Martian surface, the so-called Marsquakes. These seismic events are evidence that something inside is still moving. But what exactly causes them? Could it be ancient geological faults, the planet shrinking as it cools, or something we haven't yet figured out? These questions remain unanswered. While Mars continues to serve as a natural laboratory where time and silence are the main ingredients of scientific research, some of Mars's geological formations are so gigantic that they stand out even when observed from space. Olympus Mons itself, besides being absurdly tall, also impresses with its massive width. Its base spans about 600 kilometers. Seen from Martian orbit, it dominates the landscape like a true natural fortress, casting enormous shadows around it as if still guarding the secrets of an ancient era. Such a colossal formation would not have been possible without a thick, rigid crust that supported its rise through millions of years of volcanic activity. And the views of these kinds of structures become even more dramatic when lit by the first rays of the Martian sun. Sunrises and sunsets create shadow plays that sharply reveal each detail of the terrain, giving depth to volcanoes, plateaus, and canyons. It's like watching a light and stone spectacle unfolding in slow motion for billions of years. One of the most recent and stunning images of this scenery came from the Mars Odyssey orbiter. On June 6, 2025, it captured a rare and absolutely fascinating shot. The summit of Arcea Mons, emerging from a dense cloud layer at dawn. Located at the southern end of a mountain chain called Tharsis Montes, this volcano is one of the largest on the planet. The chain itself stretches along the Martian equator, which suggests a past marked by intense tectonic activity. It's possible that these formations are linked to deep fractures in the crust, created by primitive geological movements. Arcea Mons has truly impressive dimensions. It stands around 20 kilometers tall and spans 400 kilometers in diameter. A true geological monster, capable of piercing through Mars's thin atmosphere and directly interacting with it, altering how clouds and winds behave around it. 
That's exactly the scene captured by the Odyssey Orbiter, the peak of Arjamans rising above a frosty mist at dawn, as if the volcano were peeking through the clouds. The formation of these clouds has a curious explanation. As air rises along the slopes of the volcano, it cools rapidly and condenses, forming extremely thin clouds. It's a subtle atmospheric spectacle, but a deeply revealing one. And in this case, we're not talking about ordinary clouds. The composition of the clouds near Arsia Mons is quite specific. They're made of water ice crystals, not dust or carbon dioxide, which is more common with many Martian clouds. This reveals something surprising. Even with its extremely dry surface, Mars's atmosphere still holds enough moisture to form water-based clouds. In certain layers, the amount of vapor can even be higher than in the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere. It's an important clue for understanding the water cycle on the Red Planet, a fragile but still active cycle that gives us hope of finding signs of past or even present life in underground environments. The image captured by Mars Odyssey marks a historic moment in space exploration. It's the first time the peak of one of the three giants of the Tharsis region has been recorded emerging on the horizon with a perspective similar to what astronauts see from the window of the International Space Station when looking at Earth. This type of orbital angle not only creates a stunning visual effect, but also provides valuable scientific data on the interaction between terrain and atmosphere on Mars. By studying how sunlight hits the top of a volcano while the rest of the planet remains in shadow, scientists can analyze the different behaviors of the atmospheric layers, something essential for understanding Mars's climate dynamics. This comparison with images of mountains photographed from Earth orbit is more than just aesthetic. It brings us closer to Martian geology in an almost intimate way. Watching the sun slowly paint the icy outlines of Arzia Mons gives us the feeling that the planet is breathing, not with life, but with history. And even if it seems silent and asleep, Mars is far from being a dead world. Contrary to what many people think, there's still activity happening there. The image of the volcano breaking through the cloud layer, for example, is more than just a beautiful photo. It's a window into an atmosphere that, although thin, is alive, ever-changing, and shaped by colossal stone giants that formed billions of years ago. In a world where almost everything seems stagnant, structures like Arcea Mons and Olympus Mons are loud reminders of an explosive past and a present still full of mysteries. In the end, what we learn from these volcanic formations from the absence of tectonic plates and from the water ice clouds is that Mars has a unique story, one written in rock, ice, and dust. Every image sent by a probe is like a page torn from a book lost in time, and it's up to us to interpret it with care, patience, and admiration. The red planet with all its scars, or perhaps because of them, remains one of the most intriguing worlds in our solar system. And when we observe its colossal structures from certain angles, especially when sunlight reveals previously invisible details, we're reminded that sometimes it takes distance to truly see the greatness of a place. Mars is, without a doubt, enigmatic. And with every new click from space, it reaffirms that identity. If you enjoyed this journey through the Martian landscapes, don't forget to hit the like button down below. It really helps the channel keep bringing you this kind of content. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment and join us by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you on the next journey.